Okay, can you glance at the rubric and see if there was anything else that we missed? So we have first person, a lesson learned, it's true, you experience it yourself, it has emotion, it's a short time frame. Stashu? Okay, it has to have sensory details. Okay, Aaron? Okay, it should, well, let's add that with sensory details, but it should be described well. So I've chosen a couple of your seventh grade classmates' work, and you guys haven't heard these ones. You've heard a few of them, but I haven't shared these ones with you guys so you would hear them for the first time today. I think the three that I chose have been well written. Some of them are stronger than others, but none of them are bad. So what we're going to do today is you're going to listen to them, and as we're listening to them, and you can follow along, the first one's called The Doc um, by Kayla, I would like you to mark notes on her paper in your packet about good things you see or things that belonged in a memoir. So as you're listening, I want you to like mark if there's a simile or mark if she had emotion or things that make it a good piece. This is my memory about the highness. For real, jump already. Come on, I'll go with you if you don't hurry. Get to stepping, Kayla. You're holding up everybody else's fun. Those somewhat words of encouragement didn't mean a thing to me. None of those words could change how the doc swayed like time from the slightest breeze spread through the summertime air. Or the light, how the lightest steps of an infant could shake the doc like an erupting volcano. None of those words could change the fact that I, for my phobia, nothing could. One by one, the amount of people surrounding me decreased. Okay, take a minute to the person next to you and talk about some of the things you found. Okay, what kinds of things do we find that fits the memoir characteristics that we talked about earlier and that you've learned about? Sam? Okay, can you read us one? Okay, good. Christian? Okay, can you read us part of that? Or can you tell us what part did that specifically? How many people like that part? I think that was one of my favorite parts of her piece. Okay, what else? Nicole? Uh, okay, can you read us one? Um, okay. Can somebody else read us another piece of inner dialogue? I saw it on a lot of people's papers. Trevor? Uh, wait. Toward, toward the end, it says, I'm so proud. I'm so proud. Okay, Zach? Why would she do this to me? Okay, why would she do this to me? Okay, what else represents a memoir? Marissa? <laughs> Okay, can you read us a simile? Okay, anybody else find another simile? Larry? Yeah, and what did she compare herself to when she was jumping down? Pencil. Pencil. Okay, what else? What else was in it? Sashi? Okay, what was one? Okay, so sensory detail. What about emotion? What emotion did Kayla present in her piece? Jory? Like nervous. Okay, tell me a part where she represented nervous or she showed nervousness. Um, where she like hesitated. Okay, where she hesitated. Somebody else tell me another part where she showed that she was nervous. About what was her lesson learned? Erin? Don't let fear overrule. Don't let fear overrule. Good. Um, what I want you to do right now on, your, on, that, on the first rubric, on the very first page, I would like you to give her a score. What do you think she earned? Okay, let's do the first one, memoir characteristics. Did she have a lesson learned, a first person in a short time frame? Yeah. Is there anybody that says she didn't reach a 20? 
Okay. Is there, okay, sensory details. Is there anybody that thinks she has a 5 or a 10? Okay, so let's vote. Raise your hand if you think she has a 15. It's okay. Raise your hand if you think she earned a 20. Okay. Okay, what about emotion? Anybody think she had a 5 or a 10? Okay, let's vote for 15, 20. <laughs> okay, powerful images or sensory details. Anybody 5 or a 10? What about 15, 20? And did her grammar and mechanics look good? Did everything? This one is by Caitlin Robbins. Okay, it's called Death. She's kind of a little bit quieter, so you have to kind of listen a little carefully. Same thing, take notes. It was about 5.30 a.m. My father was going to check on my grandma like usual, but this time it wasn't any ordinary time. My grandma laid there pale faced and cold as an ice cube. My okay, what kinds of things did Caitlin do in her piece? Different than Kayla's, definitely, but what kinds of things did Kayla, or Caitlin do in her piece to make it a memoir? What's one thing, Cherish? Okay, she showed emotion. What was her emotion? Okay, her emotion was sadness. Can you read me a part that represented sadness? Okay, somebody else tell me another part that represented sadness. Christian? She started screaming and crying. Good. Okay, what else did she have in it that represented a memoir? What else did you find? Larry? Okay, she experienced it firsthand, right. Okay, Chris, what were you going to say? Okay, what was the part that you liked that she described well? Okay, Sam, do you have another one she described well? Or do you have a different thing? Okay, what's her lesson learned? Death has a purpose. Good. Well, actually, let's, sorry, let's grade Caitlin's first. Okay, so take about three minutes right now and grade Caitlin's based on the rubric. There should be a second rubric in there somewhere for you. Was it first person? Yes. And was it a short time frame? Yes. Sort of. So it was like um, two days because like Sunday was like one morning was death, one day on the one day on the end, and I pulled up the next day and I came around for the third day. Okay. Um, I think it was it one event though, kind of? Yeah. All tied together. So we agree with that? Yep. Okay. What about sensory details? Did she sometimes use, did she rarely use, or did she always use? Okay, raise your hand if you think sometimes. Okay, raise your hand if you think always. Okay, so most of you agreed with sometimes, most of the time. Okay, what about emotion? Did she present emotion? Did she sometimes present emotion? Did she show little emotion? Let's see if you think she little emotion. Sometimes emotion. A lot of emotion. Okay. Hey, what about powerful images? So places that stood out in your mind with sensory details. Did she only have a few? Did she have more than a few? Or did she have a lot? So a few? Okay, more than a few? Or a lot, you guys? Um, what are some good things in your memoir that make it a memoir? What, what are your strengths? Okay, what are some things that you think parts that possibly are weak that you could have made stronger now looking back? Um, describe why you gave yourself the grade you did. So you're actually going to score it on your rubric, okay, the front one, and then I'm going to take it later and score it in my opinion. Um, and then what have you learned about your writing skills through writing a memoir?
Okay, so for the last few minutes, you have about 18 minutes left. You're going to answer these questions and give yourself a score. Um, I would read a lot of their papers, okay. or sometimes they would read them, but I have found that this helps not only because I teach seven hours a day to read all those papers is a lot, but I find that their emotion is even presented, even though even Caitlin didn't read as strong as Kayla, but still her emotion was still presented in her piece. Um, I also think that they work harder as writers when they hear other examples. Mm -hmm. That's the best thing I've learned in five years is giving them a good example and then basing it off that. So I actually had started this memoir unit with some old eighth grade papers that they had audio taped. Um, they like listening to it. <laughs> they like doing it. I had lots of volunteers that wanted to do it. Uh, I think towards technology, I find it fun and they find it fun it's not just the teacher standing up there lecturing and telling them what's in a good paper they present and a lot of times they also go up to the board and write on it but you can't read the writing half the time <laughs> um, I think it's fun to make new lessons uh, a couple of months ago we had did emotion pieces so I had found video clips that presented that could present two emotions like one was um, a snowboarding for three four minutes and some people said it was nervous and some people said the snowboarder was exciting so we had a bunch of video clips and talked about emotions before we had wrote these memoirs. So. so does it take more time to teach with technology or less or what do you think you know as in terms of preparation and your investment? I think that once you have it now I can keep using it um, and that that would be that file would be there forever instead of trying to find a file folder in the back of my <laughs> filing cabinet. Uh, I also think that it's just going to keep moving, so we're never going to be able to stop and slow down towards, you know, technology. And half these kids know more than we do half the time. So how do you build on that? Do you use the kids, or how do you help yourself learn about technology? I like to play around Probably. with it, okay. or colleagues. Yeah, ask them. I mean, uh, Kathy is the one that taught me how to do the adi audio. So um, once she used it, and then also I do a lot of the images now where you take the picture or something and then you put it on there. So instead of having all the writing samples of good pieces that I've had in the past, now I can take pictures and put them on a smartboard file to have. 